to ESPN. Good morning. Yesterday, Vince Carter officially called it a career. That means Adam Vinatieri and Zdinochara are the only remaining players across the four major North American sports who debuted during the 1990s. Yep, the decade is two legends short of being reduced to a mere VH1 special. Here's your ESPN Daily. Okay. Listen up. The decision. Behind the scenes of LeBron's decision. Ten years ago on live television, LeBron James announced his now infamous decision to leave his hometown Cleveland Cavaliers and take his talents to South Beach to join forces with Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and the Miami Heat. The criticism of the primetime special was immediate, harsh, and widespread. The long, drawn-out broadcast drew ire from Cavaliers fans, who felt the star had betrayed them, as well as casual observers who disliked the idea of an athlete wielding that level of influence. Yeah. So how did the decision actually come to be? Ahead of Sunday's backstory, the decision. Um, that time is cut off, but it's sometime in the... In the p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN. Maybe that's a six. I'm going to say six. Three-time Pulitzer Prize winner Don Van Natta joins the ESPN Daily Podcast to take us behind the production, introduce the key players, and examine the far-reaching consequences of the telecast and its legacy for a new era of player empowerment. Things to care about. Worth the 30-year wait. You know that meme with the old lady from Titanic that says, it's been 84 years. Yeah, that feels relevant right now. I'm not sure what meme that is. Liverpool was crowned Premier League champion Thursday following Manchester City's 2-1 loss at Chelsea, putting an end to its 30-year wait for a top-flight title. Is there going to be an asterisk, given the circumstances? Unless they didn't play less games, but they... Probably did. Jurgen Klopp's side defeated Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace, four to zero on Wednesday evening to leave it needing just two points from its remaining seven games to win the title. But with second round Manchester second placed Manchester City now twenty three points behind, with seven matches remaining after Thursday's result at Stamford Bridge, Liverpool has an unassailable lead at the top of the standings. The triumph brings to an end a drought that stretched to 1990, when Kenny Dalglish's side won the old Football League championship. Naturally, Reds fans, including one LeBron James, took to social media to express their excitement over the long-awaited crown. This season's feat means Liverpool now have 19 titles to its name, one behind Manchester United, which has 20. Not too shabby. Are we talking about rugby? <laughs> Here's a handy infographic of Cristiano Ronaldo. I wonder if there's stuff on the far right that I'm missing. I love my new email app, but for this particular email, it does cut off some things. Dribbles per 90 minutes. Attempts. Successes. Okay. The evolution of Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo has been a prolific scorer and dominant force in England, Spain, and Italy during his illustrious career. But how has his playing style altered as he has achieved success with Manchester United, Real Madrid, and Ju Juventus? Juventus. Was there really a chance a young Ronaldo could have teamed up, teamed up with Lionel Messi if United hadn't locked him down first? Okay, that last question is not really directly related to Ronaldo's development, but it is fun to think about. Ahead of today's Siri A, is that a typo or is the word really Siri? Match between who, Juventus and Lecce, 12.45 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN+. Plus. Gab Marcotti dug into the data to de detail how Ronaldo evolved from making it in Manchester to Madrid and Juve goal machine. Predictions for a 60-game MLB season. 
If you had told me a week ago that players would be reporting for spring training next week, I would have probably told you to kick rocks in the most polite way possible. But alas, here we are. It is 2020. I should have known. When word broke of a 60-game season, we asked our baseball writers, reporters, and editors for their best guesses as to what we'll witness during this abbreviated campaign. From why the Tampa Bay Rays and their stocked bullpen could thrive, to why the defending champion Washington Nationals could struggle, here's what they had to say. You know, if you care. Things to watch. Thanks for the memories, Vincenity. To borrow a line from the incomparable Sarah McLaughlin, Weep not for the memories. After a triumphant 22-season run, the longest-tenured player in NBA history, Vince Carter, so it is Vinsanity, is calling it quits. While we all knew it was coming, something about the certainty of it got me right in my feelings. If the realization that half-man, half-amazing has drained his last bucket makes you feel the same way, I recommend watching this highlight compilation. There are a lot of great dunks, and it helps. Overheard. Football is a non-essential business, and so we don't need to do it. So the risk, you know, has to be really eliminated before we, before I would feel comfortable with going back. New Orleans Saints safety Malcolm Jenkins on coronavirus risk. Is this a recent thing? And why is a player saying that? Everybody's job is essential to them. He doesn't feel that his job is essential to him. You see, that's that's the problem with people making so much money. <clears throat> Remember when? I'm taking my toys and going home. On this day in 2001, Lloyd McClendon's beef with umpires culminated in the skipper stealing first base. The Pirates manager, who was in the midst of a 100-loss season, quite literally committed first base larceny, tucking the bag under his left arm and marching to the dugout after he was ejected for arguing a call. Incredible conflict resolution, if you ask me. That's funny. Until next time, remember. You want to know where I was the summer Vince Carter got drafted? Learning how to make clay pots at a sleepaway camp where the motto was enter here to be and find a friend. So yeah, a few years have passed. This has been your ESPN Daily for June 26th, 2020. Thank you, ESPN. And today...